Hey guys, the exposed module gravity box got updated today, so I thought I'd make a quick video checking out some of the changes, and the biggest one has got to be the addition of gravity box actions, and these are pretty awesome, they do add some nice functionality to gravity box. Now what these actually are, are shortcuts or widgets that allow some additional functionality. So you can see I've got three of them here, one of them is toggle Bluetooth, the other is toggle mobile data, and the other is toggle screen recording, and you can see if I toggle the Bluetooth it turns off, toggle it, it turns back on, toggle screen recording, I'm now recording my screen. So they do work well and essentially how to get these is you just update to the latest gravity box and then you place them just like you would any other widget. So you go into your widgets, you find gravity box actions. Uh, where are we? Here we go. You place this down and once you do that you'll get a big list of actions that you can basically do and there's a lot to choose from here. You can see uh, toggle Wi-Fi, toggle Wi-Fi AP, toggle mobile data, screenshots, all this different stuff that you might want to use. So Gravity Box Actions can work with any application that can utilize shortcuts. So things like different launchers and taskers will work. They've also added navigation bar ring targets and this is something a lot of you guys have wanted from Gravity Box and it's here now. I've enabled my nav bar, I've already customized this to show you what you can do and normally when you swipe up here you'd only get Google Now. I've changed that and you'll see I now have screenshot, toggle the torch and access screen record. Now obviously this is accessible within any application as long as you can see your navigation bar. So you can see they're still accessible right there. And essentially what this is gonna allow you to do is access certain things that you couldn't maybe access quite as quickly. So let's say I wanna take a screenshot of this, I can do it really quickly just by swiping up, boom, the screenshot has been taken. If I wanna access screen record, Boom, it's gonna start recording my screen. You can also turn that off just by going back to it. And the same thing with the torch. So let's access or turn on the torch. Boom, it's on, turn it off, it's off. So that's pretty damn awesome. Now you don't have to use Gravity Box actions. You can use applications or anything like that. So if we dive into Gravity Box and check out the customization, you need to go into navig navigation bar tweaks Go about halfway down, you'll see navigation ring targets. Make sure you turn it on. So firstly, we can change the background style. Now you can see I've got mine set to black and what this actually is, is the background behind the application. You can see that kind of black circle. That's what you're gonna be changing. Now you have some options like light, dark, or none. Now light probably fits KitKat a little bit better. You can see that here. Just looks a little bit cleaner, especially with the white icons of the KitKat theme. And that's what it looks like. So diving back in, let's get into the actual stuff here. You've got five ring targets that you can customize and it's as simple as just tapping one of the ring targets. You can either choose an application that you want, so you can choose any application that you have installed, or if you want to use a gravity box action, you need to tap here, go to, go to shortcuts, scroll down to gravity box actions, and then choose the one you want. Let's just choose, I don't know, toggle Wi-Fi, and you'll see toggle Wi-Fi is now an option. So you can have five and choose whatever you want there. You can have certain applications or anything like that. They've also added a subtle charging animation. If you're using the text, you can see it's pulsing green here. That is something I actually really like because before when I connected my phone, I would have to dive into the quick toggles and actually see if it was charging and I don't have to do that anymore. They've also added a smart radio and you can find this in the phone tweaks. I've seen this on custom ROMs before, but I haven't tried it yet. It is experimental, so be aware of that. And it says it may affect manual network mode switching. If you click into this, you have options to do something on mobile data enabled and disabled. So for example, on disable, you could say only use 2G modes and on enable, use LTE. So it may save you some battery life if you use it properly. No doubt the biggest addition in this update is the gravity box actions and of course the navigation bar ring that I know a lot of people have been waiting for. So yeah, go ahead and download it. I hope you enjoy it. Peace out.